Rachel, um, obviously this tragedy off the coast of Italy has uh, caused some passengers to think twice or some customers to think twice before they take a cruise. But, you know, mm. I mean, that's a fact of life, right? I mean, how often do you hear of a cruise ship uh, capsizing? I mean, the instances we hear are mostly food poisoning and some rude treatment and, you know, uh, someone demanding a return and then, of course, the obligatory lawsuit. Right. Um, yeah, it does seem that the cruise industry has a pretty um, superb safety record. Um, I do think that, um, you know, there are, you know, thousands of cruises, um, you know, every year. And I think that, you know, the fact that we hear about one in, you know, a pretty long time is, um, you know, it's pretty important to note. Um, I think that, um, you know, we probably did halt a couple, um, you know, passengers from going on cruises or something like that, um, but I don't think that it affected it um, or, you know, the industry in general as much as anyone thought it would. Now, do you think that uh, Carnival uh, handled the publicity around the disaster well? I mean, what could it have been done? Um, well, I think that, you know, it's always a very um, diplomatic and, you know, kind of straightforward PR response when something like this happens. Um, I think that you know, companies try to be sympathetic towards victims, but, you know, they also have to save face. Um, you know, they would never say that, 